Hey everyone, Anthony Morganti here. Recently, I received a question about the new Portrapoca AI that is in Update 4 of Luminar AI. Specifically, the person was asking me, how does it do with pointed light sources? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you. I want to mention real quick that I don't mind doing my best to answer any question anyone might have on any product that I do videos on. I do want to remind everyone, though, that most of the applications that I do videos on have fully working free trials. So if you'd like to try Luminar AI out and see if it performs the way you hope it does, uh, in the description below this video, I'll have a link to Skylum's website and you could download the free trial and try it out for yourself. Now specifically, for those of you not familiar or maybe a little bit new to photography, when you have a pointed light source and you're using a wide aperture on a lens, of course, um, anything that isn't in focus is going to go blurry. A pointed light source, um, high quality bokeh, many people, what many people would consider to be high quality bokeh, a pointed light source such as these lights in the stock image would just bloom out in a circular way. Whereas with a poor quality lens, they'll tend to be flat, more like an American football. For those of you in America, of course, know who I'm talking, what I'm talking about. And I don't want to confuse it with what we in the United States call a soccer ball. So it's going to be flat uh, with a poorer quality lens. So let's just see how it works. We'll go down to the portrait section of the edit panel and we'll just add some portrait bokeh and you can see that it just blooms out in a circular way so it does a really nice job um, just you know just moving this one slider so you could see that it does do a fine job on pointed light sources now let's just go over some more of the features for those of you that may not have seen my initial video where I introduced portrait bokeh um, AI if you haven't seen that video I'll have a link to it in the description below this video but we have this brush control and you can see like if I hover over the subject, wherever it's red, that's where it's masking. So it found the person fine and everywhere else, basically it's in this image, at least it's going to apply the blur to it. But if I come off the image, if you look above her head, you see there's a light there and see how that looks funky kind of right there. I don't like the look of that and I don't like the look of this light. So what I could do is I could click on focus. I could get a smaller brush and maybe bring softness down just a little and then maybe just even a little smaller brush and then I could kind of paint that area there like that try to make it look a little better or if I think that defocus might work better I could go this way with it and kind of take it out there like that and that actually looks better so you could use the brush to either focus part of the image that is being defocused or defocus part of the image that is in focus and you could easily then restore it if you just click on restore and brush back where you previously brushed now that's part um, the middle part of the portrait bokeh AI tool down here if we click on this let me scroll it up um, you can see that we have a lot of controls for the background we could affect the brightness if I move it to the right we'll make it brighter and darker to the left. We could, uh, how much of that glow do we want uh, in the highlight? So if I move it to the right, you can see it basically kind of bl blooms it out a little more. Do we want those lights to be a little warmer or that entire out of focus area really a little warmer or do we want it a little cooler? I kind of liked it right where it was. So I'll just double click right on the slider itself and it will reset it. Now the depth correction is probably the most important slider here because um, if you want uh, more of the image in focus going behind her or in front of her in this case, you could move this slider. You can see if I move it to the left, it's basically blurring out everything a little more. If I move it to the right, it will start to like bring these lights more in focus. And then it's making more of the 
lights in the background be slightly more in focus so it really is dropping off less dramatically uh, the focus but then I could come up here to the amount and move that you can see how then you can make it look a little more natural with that depth control and edge corrections if you have any funkiness around the edges in this case of this lady uh, we could move this and affect that as well and you can see it's kind of bringing back some of her hair if I move it to left because it was blurring out the hair at the edges so we could bring back some of her hair so you have a lot of control over the portrait um, when you use portrait bokeh AI now on this image I think move depth correction a little more this way like that and I do want I think to maybe warm those lights up and the entire background just up just a touch so just a little bit just like that and there is before and there is after they were kicked in yeah so um portrait polka AI I was as I mentioned in that previous video I was very impressed with it I thought it um is pretty cool but I gotta be honest with you I'm not sure I'm going to use it that much because um I do have uh, some lenses that will open up to 1.2 aperture you know 1.2 so I could do a lot of this in camera and whenever in my opinion whenever you have the opportunity to capture the scene the way you want it in camera definitely go that extra little bit it's going to take to do it in camera don't rely on post-production to achieve what you want to achieve but this is a nice feature for those times when I may not have that lens with me and I have to shoot at f8 or f5.6 or, you know, the situation I, I don't have an ND filter, whatever it takes. I, if I can't really open to f1.2 for some reason, then this, um, this is a nice tool to have. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.